Hey, uh, it's getting a little bit late, so we're going to get started on this. There's a lot going on in the world of crypto. It's 8.38 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, October 18th, 2017. And the last 24 hours have been pretty crazy at Bitcoin. Hopefully you can see a whole lot better. Um... Volume is way, way up on Bitcoin at almost $800 million in one day. And the market cap is at $92.16 billion. Price is currently fifty-five forty-one, And we are finally back in the green. Let's go take a closer look and see what's going on in Bitcoin. Crazy day. Volatile as heck. Uh, Bitcoin did fall at one point to an insane amount of, where is it at, 5110, $5,110. A lot of people said it, including me, it would never get that low again, but, you know, it happens all the time. Um, crazy dip. This time last night it was trading at 55.22. Um, somewhere around 1 a.m. Eastern Time it started tanking. Yeah, a little bit of an adjustment somewhere around 5 a.m. But then a quick sell off and a tank all the way to the lows 51.10. And, uh, and, and now we're in the midst of a major rebound, although there is a bit of an adjustment. This was up to 55.95 just moments ago. Um, serious buyback here. Um, a lot of reasons for it. There, there's FUD coming out of um, different places all over uh, the world uh, Bittrex uh, one of the big problems is Bittrex did suspend a few accounts and the people who got suspended just blew it way way out of proportion and that resulted in people spreading the FUD that everyone's account was going to get suspended <coughs> but it was just a handful of questionable accounts um, that they're reviewing and nobody's going to lose their money if these accounts get banned for good they will get their Bitcoin and any other currency they're holding back before they get the boot uh, Bittrex is not stealing anyone's money as has been written um, they're simply reviewing a handful of accounts for unethical practices such as well see that's the part they don't explain <clears throat> so I have to guess um, this is about money, money laundering uh, pump and dumps collusion all that good stuff um, which ultimately gives the whole uh, industry a bad name so it's best that we stay self-regulated and we don't need the government to crack down on these people so it's all good it's going to result in a more secure exchange uh, a more unhackable exchange and all that groovy stuff like that there so let's take a little bit closer to look because this has me a little bit concerned in the last couple of minutes. Um, we did have a downward adjustment of a couple of dollars. And it caught back hold right there. Um, and now it's pretty much just a war between the buyers and sellers with the sellers winning at the moment at this very moment we will take another look at Bitcoin by the time we are done with the crypto update let's go take a look at the rest of the market
I would not let the FUD bother me. It's always overblown crap. Don't sweat it, amigo. Ethereum is in second place in volume and about 189 million. Litecoin is in third at 111 million. So Litecoin does recapture the volume lead. Over Bitcoin Cash, whose volume is at 45 million. So it's not just Litecoin recapturing it. They just kind of said, get out of here, Bitcoin Cash. Check the BCH back down to fourth. Uh, Ripple is in fifth at 38.5 million. Neo is in sixth at, at almost 12 million. Monero is in seventh at almost 10 million. Dash is in eighth at 9.1 million. Whew. Zcash is in ninth at eight million. Metaverse is in tenth at seven point two million. Omise Go would be honorable mention, and there's about six point three million in volume. And Omise Go, biggest gainer of today is by far Metaverse again. Well, after rising to incredible heights and then tanking and then rising again, leveling out, and wow, Metaverse sitting at $5.38. Just a couple of days ago, it was barely over a dollar. Major volatility. This could be an excellent trade coin. You had time to get in right there. And you had time to get in right there. I would not get in this side. This is a... You would have probably gotten in right there as soon as it leveled out. Look for these leveled... Uh, whatever you call them. Planes. We'll call them planes. That's what you want to look at it. You want to... This is a, what, it's a one-day graph, and you want to look at, if you're going to trade, you want to, well, even if you're not trading, if you're buying and holding, you want this level playing field for just a little while, so you can see this strong upward trend coming, and boom, you're going like a rocket. Like a rocket man. Like Kim Jong-un, the rocket man. All right, let's go back and quit taking around. Yes, Metaverse is the big gainer of the day. Biggest loser. We have a couple big losers here, and we're going to take a closer look. And Bitcoin Cash would definitely be the biggest loser in the top 10, and it's down almost 10%. So BCH is struggling once again. There was a little bit of hope for a little while, and then it just kind of vanished. There's people dumping out of Bitcoin cash and putting it in Mother Bitcoin to make up for that little bit of a drop. A bit of a dip. It's just a bit of a dip. It's just a bit of a dip. Sweat, man. No sweaters. Come on now, what's going on? There we go. 55.18, so Bitcoin does continue to fall a little bit. I don't think it's much to worry about. There's not much you're going to be able to do about it. Anyway, you don't want to, you don't want to sell here. <laughs> Just for sure, you don't sell. Do not sell, never sell Bitcoin. Unless you have like a family emergency or something. You can see on the one day overall chart that we have such a strong buy pattern happening right now. Right at this moment, it's a, uh, you don't, don't sell anything you want to buy here.
talents, so. Holy mackerel. Son, we are looking so strong. I'm a little too close now. It's hard to navigate my way around here. See how far down this goes. You don't want it to go down below here. You want it to turn around right now. Right now. So let's go take a closer look and see what it's doing. Right now you want this candle to turn blue. sit here and stare at the chart y'all can do that on your own but um, it does illustrate that this is what you're looking for a, a turnaround right this moment and then just a burst through the ceiling remember you don't want to get below what is this line 5500 we can't go below there that's the step in the next stairway Anyway, we're, there we have it. That's the crypto update. My name is John Disk, and uh, I hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll see you tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Peace.